Hi there, I'm at the Holiday Inn Express at Dubai Airport. I'm just doing a transfer, uh, catching a connecting flight in the morning. So I bought the Holiday Inn Express as it's one of the closest hotels to the airport. In fact, in a second, we'll just look out the window, you can see the airport is across the road, although the free shuttle bus does take 15 minutes. I'm gonna put some instructions up at the end of how to you get the shuttle bus, because the signage at the airport is virtually non-existent. So anyway, so I got here, checking was a bit of a pain. Um, when I checked in, she said I had two bookings. Then she said both bookings have been canceled. So I said, well, no one's emailed me anything and I made one booking and I had a confirmation for that booking. And so my advice is if you do choose the Holiday Inn, and I think, it's just, I think it is a good choice, I would recommend it so far. Um, however, I would double check with the hotel that your booking is confirmed. I've just arrived at, to, it's just 20 past 12. Now, if the hotel had been full, I'd have been a very tired and annoyed bunny. So, anyway, let's have a look at the room. So, we have a couch, we have a television, those two things go together. We have our tea and coffee. So, um, we have coffee mate, so, can have a white cup of coffee and I've got some water. Looks like a little mini bar. Not what I was expecting in a holiday in Express. So I have a fridge. And yeah, the fridge is cold. Why would you do complimentary water and not chill it? If there's nothing else in there. Anyway, bigger questions in the world, I suppose. We have TV remote, hotel information, and we have a telephone which doesn't give us a clue what numbers to phone, but it tells me what my name is, so that's sweet of them. So one always presumes it's zero for reception, but uh, it would have been nice to have had a little guide here. And well, I'm pleased with the bed. Uh, yeah, soft and a soft pillow and a hard pillow and a firm mattress. So let's have a look in at the wardrobe, which I've already looked at because you can see there's my jacket hanging up there. We have our prayer mat, we have our laundry, and we have a safe. So that's pretty cool. That's not going anywhere. Well, not without too much shoving. So, and yeah, we have a view of the airport. Uh, what that view's like in the morning, who knows? But as you can see, you are incredibly close to uh, the airport, however you are not allowed to cross that road. So it's a shuttle bus, and the shuttle bus took about 15 minutes. It might be quicker to get to the airport, um, because the traffic getting out of the airport was most of the, the time spent. Anyway, I'm pleased with my room. It's cost me 61 pounds, and uh, it's a bed for the night after a, an eight hour flight and another eight hour one tomorrow. So yeah, so the Holiday Inn Express, book it direct, you'll always get the best deal by booking it direct. Join the IHG club, because you get a little quicker check-in and you do get some points. And if you're travelling around with Intercontinental, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, and uh, other chains in the group, you get the points. So yeah, those links are in the description below. And if uh, the video has been helpful for you, do give it a thumbs up, uh, do subscribe and share it with anyone that might be coming through Dubai Airport. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye. Well, I forgot to film the bathroom. Well, I have just got off a flight. It's either four o'clock in the morning for me, or midnight, or eight o'clock, I don't know. Uh, so please forgive me. Uh, also notice there's a connecting door here. So I would imagine it's quite easy to get a connecting room, especially if you're traveling as a family. Uh, we have our aircon. Drop that down a little bit, not quite 14. And we have our master switch and our key controller. So if we nip into the bathroom, I've got a pretty decent shower. Sure that'll do the job, I'll let you know. Uh, nice and clean. Obviously this, well not obviously, but there is a little bit of dirt on the grouting. So maybe they want to get their maintenance feelings up here. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have a shower in there. Uh, it does feel clean, but grouting's grouting. Um, yeah, 
leaves nice and clean. That's what we like to see. Little shower bidet, towels, sink, soap, telephone, and the hairdryer, which of course doesn't get much use with me.